What's up, scholars? We have been talking about the day-night cycle. We've been talking about the sun, the earth, and the moon, and we have come to some really, really awesome understandings. And one of those things that we have learned is that the sun's rays are shining on the earth. You see how the sun's rays are shining onto my hand? They're shining onto the earth. But we know that the earth is rotating on its axis. The axis is an imaginary line that runs through the earth and the earth tilts. That means it leans on its side at 23.5 degrees right around there. So this earth is rotating. Now imagine that this is us, this pink sticky right here. There's a picture of, of me with my curly hair on there. Do you see how much light is on me as I'm facing the sun when I'm on the part of the earth that's facing the sun? Look at all of that. We call that daytime. That's how we describe that. That's called daytime. Now the earth is rotating and you're going to notice that when I get all the way back here, I am no longer getting any of the sunlight. Now all the light is on this side. So now I'm experiencing night and this sphere of the earth is is having daytime, right? So we have day over here, night over here. And this cycle happens every 24 hours. Every 24 hours, this cycle of the earth rotating on its axis happens. So we know the sun rises, at a, the sun appears to rise. Now look, we use the word appears because notice the sun is not moving. It doesn't, the sun's movements do not call the earth's rotation. It, it does not cause day and night. None of that is caused by the sun's movements. The earth is rotating on its axis and day and night is caused because of this rotation. So if we were right here, this would be what we would call sunrise. This is about seven and then it would be eight o'clock, nine, 10, 11, and at 12 o'clock, the sun is at its highest point. This is direct sun rays. And then we go uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, and then it goes eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and then it goes one, two o'clock, three o'clock a.m., four a.m., five a.m., six a.m., seven a.m., and it just keeps going and going and going and going and going and it takes 365 days or 365 rotations those are the same thing to create one year and that's the time that it takes the earth to travel all the way around the sun we were also talking about the characteristics of the sun the earth and the moon how they're alike and how they're different and when we look at this picture one of the very first things that we notice is in this model that the sun is larger. Now, this is nowhere close to how large our sun is. Our sun is a million times larger than the earth. It's almost so big, it's hard for us to put into a picture. And the earth is six times larger than the moon. And the moon is also uh, making similar movements around the earth. That's what this, di this model is set to show. It is set to show that the moon is revolving around the earth and that the earth is also revolving around the sun as it rotates on its axis. All of those things are happening at the same time. But for this, here's what I need you to know. The day and the night that we experience is caused because the earth is rotating on its axis. The day and the night is caused because the earth is rotating on its axis. If we were playing like the cause and effect game, if I gave you the effect and you would give me the cause or I would give you the cause and you would give me the effect, the cause is because the earth rotates on its axis, the effect is we experience day and night in a repeated cycle. That is our daily science for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just always remember, always, 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 always remember, the sun only appears to move. It doesn't actually move. The thing that is moving that is causing the change is you and me because we are on the earth and the earth is rotating on its axis. We will be back on soon with more amazing science. Have a good one.